So Elden Ring is upon us and man oh man, if you haven't jumped in yet, it really is as unforgiving as I thought. But a smart thing to do early on is to take your time and farm things to level yourself up. Today guys and for new players I bring you a simple guide in earning tons of runes which are this game's currency early on in the game. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So this game really isn't forgiving, enemies are relentless, a proper challenge but at the same time it does feel super rewarding and worth the effort, the balance they definitely got right. Out of Ring definitely though isn't a game for everyone but once you get that combat system down I feel you will be fine and truly start to love this game and see as the masterpiece it really is. So as you first get into this game you'll quickly learn that runes are extremely important for your progress. They are used to level yourself up, level up gear, buy things from vendors, I mean you name it it probably requires runes. So getting a good amount early on is a smart move, leveling up your character early on instead of running headfirst into battle is a smart move, or even buying items and gear from vendors early on is probably a smart move too, but all require runes guys. So runes come from a ton of things in this game, mainly you can find them, killing enemies and absorbing them, and indeed selling things you find for them. Now with regards to killing things for them, here you do need to be real careful. Enemies like I said are relentless, so if I were you real early on, I'd farm things that really don't hit that hard when they hit your back. Like the smaller animals, the slower moving animals, even the bats ain't too bad. But if you are confident you can take a certain enemy on, be my guest and do that. Remember though, runes that you've gathered from killing things upon you die and you lose them. But if you respawn you can pick them back up, but it means travelling back to the way you died. If you die in the process of trying to gather them back, you lose them forever, so keep that in mind. Now in my opinion the best way to get runes is to find like these hidden schools that are about a map and also dead bodies which both reward golden runes. Now these can indeed be a certain level 2 indicated by the number next to them. Now the dead bodies I think are there for everybody, the schools throughout my playthrough I'm pretty sure that they could be the bodies of other players that have just died in a certain area. I mean to test this theory, I mean it's early days yet, I've searched online, I can't find any confirmation about this, but I am pretty sure that they're, they're bodies of other players that may have died, because I had one area earlier where there was a big dude just walking around, and I found like four or five of these schools, just all like accumulating like a, a bunch, this could only be from them trying to fight this big dude, and they're just dying. It's either that there, that of the player that started here, a player playing the game that started here, or that of an animal that started here, but that really wouldn't make sense to me because like I said, I've come to one spot, there's no real animals there, gone away, even the spot you're seeing on screen now. I come here, I mean I saw one, I thought, you know, I'm gonna record that just in case. Come back, there's four on the floor. I mean, so what are they? Are they animals? Are they human players? I'm not too sure, but either way guys, it does seem like they're gonna spawn random. And the best places I've seen so far is where there's a, a, a bigger enemy there, which obviously kills many other things. So just keep that in mind. So a good way uh, in getting these is come to where I'm at on the map right here. You can see the big dude right here and just try and hide from him. And obviously you get all these, these new players are going to try and fight him. Ain't going to work out good for them. And then you just, you just pick up the schools. It really is that easy. Uh, but because I actually don't think they're here for everybody, like I said, uh, at first I thought they're going to be in set locations, uh, but then I've ran to one place, come back, gone there again, it's been there. So like, yeah, I do think they're random. But either way, I'll showcase this on screen now, if they're here for you, then they're there for everybody. But the dead bodies, I do believe, are there for everybody. I've found a few so far, and you'll see them on screen now. But yeah, guys, 100% the schools, and you get like 200 runes per each one. Yeah, like I said, these golden runes have levels, no doubt. The levels increase depending on the player that's dropped them, maybe. I'm guessing that's the way. But yeah, guys, definitely early on players. This is by far the way forward. Don't forget, if you farm as well, the animals you kill and loot, you can sell all that good stuff as well to earn those quick runes. But 100% guys, this is what you need to do. Just search the first area, look for those glowing schools, people. 
smash them pick up that golden rune and you are good to go guys and i hope this helps you out but for early players it's definitely helped me out and i'm playing this obviously and recording this before the game's even been populated by the majority of the world because it ain't even out yet so yes guys i hope this video helps you out i really do if it does leaving a like really helps me out and hopefully people i will see you on that next one